Forget about memory games and crossword puzzles. If we want to prevent Alzheimer's, we have to talk about autophagy. Autophagy is the body's natural cellular cleanup system. It literally means self-eating. And while that may sound strange, it's one of the most important systems in the body for long-term health. It's how your cells break down waste and recycle damaged components and prevent the buildup of toxic proteins like beta amyloid and tau. And when autophagy is functioning well, your brain stays clean and stable. But when it becomes impaired, whether through inflammation, metabolic dysfunction, or other cellular stressors, that clean clearance process slows down and beta amyloid starts to build. Elevated BAT levels are often the result of this. And while autophagy isn't necessarily broken, it's often disrupted by mechanisms that throw the system off balance. And this is why we don't just test for risk. We look at what's causing it. At BATWatch in our practice, we monitor these biological processes that regulate autophagy, including mTOR signaling, oxidative stress, and immune function. And here's the thing. Autophagy isn't just linked to Alzheimer's. It actually plays a role in cancer, cardiovascular disease, metabolic disorders, even auto immune conditions. It literally may be one of the most important systems in the entire body, and yet it's almost never measured or addressed in routine care. But when we see those BAT levels rising, impaired or disrupted autophagy is often the earliest contributing mechanism. And when autophagy begins to recover, we often see those levels come down. But this isn't just about turning autophagy on. Providers need to consider all other underlying mechanisms that influence autophagy, from that inflammation or immune signaling to nutrient sensing pathways like mTOR. Care planning should focus on identifying identifying what may be impairing autophagy in the first place and supporting the body's ability to restore it. Because when autophagy functions properly, the brain can clear out risk before it turns into damage. That's why BAT levels are part of a broader system-based approach, not just to measure risk, but to understand the biology behind it. And at BATWatch, we take those insights and we integrate them into coordinated care, connecting autophagy, inflammation, lipid clearance, other mechanisms into a smarter way to track risk over time. So we're not just treating numbers, we're treating what actually is driving them. Knowledge is power, keep watching more.